Indian solar market like in terms of investment? Uh, like what are the challenges and opportunities uh, we face in the Indian solar market? Mm -hmm. So we, we've done a piece of work, uh, both International Energy Agency and Council on Energy, Environment and Water, uh, looking at investment trends in the, in the Indian solar market. Um, so of course we see very huge opportunity and the reductions in costs uh, and also improved financing that we've seen in recent years have been very supportive of the sector. So the government has of course played a very important role in this in setting ambitious targets, backing them up with a, with a policy framework that um, gives developers visibility over remuneration for projects uh, over a long period and also supporting this with infrastructure. So the solar park scheme has been very instrumental in terms of helping developers arrange land, uh, infrastructure, grid connections, etc. And this is particularly important for attracting foreign capital. Uh, yet there's still a number of risks which persist in the sector. Um, these risks have to do with the, the pricing levels of, of the auctions and uncertainty around how technology prices may evolve given some issues such as the, the safe du safeguard duties and, and what's going on in, in global markets. Um, we also look at the concentration of the industry itself, so the market players, and we do find that there's been a degree of concentration among market players, um, which is helping to sort of secure better financing. Um, but um, the number of players who are supporting final investment decisions every year is, is changing, so there's, there's still a good amount of opportunity for a diversity of players uh, in the Indian market. Um, where we do see persistent risk is also in the related to the offtake of the power and the discounts, um, so both the financial state of the discounts, um, but also the payment security and the guarantees are around this sort of uh, uncertainties over whether developers will, over the discounts will sign the PPAs to, to begin with and whether the developers uh, will get paid on time. So these persistent risks still make the pricing of solar power a bit uncertain and, and challenging in, in India. So, the, as you know, the target that has been set to 100 gigawatt by 2022, so would that be achievable? Um, I mean, I don't want to reflect the degree to which it's achievable or not. I mean, we have IEA work that looks at, you know, where we see, where we forecast uh, India's solar sector um, in the future, um, but it rather just kind of focus on what are the policies or what are the things that need to, to go right in order to make this achievable. Um, because because things would change with a, with a better policy environment or or more progress and, and in particular making more progress on the credit worthiness of the discoms and their business model I think is very important um, supporting flexibility of the power system in general to better integrate renewables um, to secure their system value at higher shares um, this has to do with the operations of the system building out the transmission uh, infrastructure in a more robust manner which India has made good progress on um, but also dealing with the uh, let's say the structure of the the current fleet of the current thermal fleet which um, can be used more flexibly to help integrate renewables um, but in many cases is saddled with inflexible contracting structures which are both um, make it difficult for the for the coal power plants to achieve their own business model, but also for the discounts and, all the, and for their own financial feasibility. Um, so tackling these issues, I think in a, in a holistic way, and looking at how things can be improved on the state level, I think will be very important in terms of meeting the goals um, in the next time.